So, my name is Peter Carey. Uh, I'm the author of True History of the Kelly Gang, and uh, I'm going to read a little bit, just from the beginning. I lost my own father at 12 year of age and know what it is to be raised on lies and silence as my dear daughter you are presently too young to understand a word I write but this history is for you and will contain no single lie may I burn in hell if I speak false. God willing I shall live to see you read these words to witness your astonishment and see your dark eyes widen and your jaw drop when you finally comprehend the injustice we poor Irish suffered in this present age. How queer and foreign it must seem to you and all the coarse words and cruelty which I now relate are far away in ancient time. Your grandpa was a quiet and secret man. He had been ripped from his home in Tipperary and transported to the prisons of Van Diemen's land. I do not know what was done to him. He never spoke of it. When they had finished with their tortures, they set him free and he crossed the sea to the colony of Victoria. He was by this time 30 year of age, red-headed and freckled, with his eyes always slitted against the sun. My da had sworn an oath to evermore avoid the attentions of the law. So when he saw the streets of Melbourne was crawling with policemen worse than flies, he walked 28 miles to the township of Donnybrook. And then, or soon thereafter, he seen my mother. Alan Quinn were 18 year old. She were dark haired and slender, the prettiest figure on a horse he ever saw. But your grandma was like a snare laid out by God for Red Kelly. She were a Quinn and the police would never leave the Quinns alone. Thank you. <laughs>